about our stuff. The final action will be held on Thursday, December 11th at the City Hall uh, Council Chambers on the second floor at 5.30. Agenda item number 4, CU 2014-11, Normal Life of Georgia. Staff, if you please present this case. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. This is a request for conditional use permit for the expansion of the existing personal care home. Property is located at 534 Griffin Avenue. Consists of a little bit more than 0.4 acres. Um, at the work session, we had all of our maps and things to show you, but between then and now, the digital copies have vanished off of both laptops and were sort of at a loss as to where they went, but they are gone. Um, so if you'll use the maps that are in your packet and perhaps some memory from the work session discussion, um, the subject property is a small apartment building consisting of four multifamily units, sort of a townhouse style. Um, one of the center units is currently occupied by a personal care home with three clients. Um, under the city's regulations, personal care homes with three or fewer people do not require a conditional use permit. Um, in this case, the applicant is wanting to expand physically into the next over interior dwelling unit to make a larger dwelling unit and then also add one more person for a total of four. Therefore, the expansion from three to four people requires the conditional use review. The property is located um, on Griffin Avenue on the southeast part of town. It is zoned RM. You see on the zoning map, there's R6 zoning around it. Um, Griffin Avenue is a state highway. Um, as you go further east, it actually changes names to State Bill Highway. Um, state Road 94, somewhat of a major corridor through there. Um, staff has very little issue with this other than you're actually, in our view, reducing the impacts of the development. You're going from what used to be four apartment units, which had become three, plus a personal care home, and with this proposal it drops to two dwelling units with a personal care home, adding one more person. Um, because of the development patterns of the area, the existing use that's there, um, no physical addition to the building, it's the same structure. They're simply putting a hole through the interior wall and combining dwelling units together, which is a permitting process. Um, staff have found it consistent with our conditional use review criteria and our comprehensive plan, and we're recommending approval of this with two conditions. We went through these at the work session, and I would like to make a change to condition number one um, to read as follows. Initial use approval shall be granted for a personal care home with no more than four residents and two staff members. And number two will remain the same as conditional use approval shall expire after two years if the expanded personal care home is not licensed and operating by that date. Um, some of the concerns we've had um, the past several months with other personal care homes around town, um, we have found ourselves needing to look at not only the number of residents, but also the number of staff members that are involved. Um, and we've discussed this with the applicant. Um, she is here representing Normal Life of Georgia and can speak to that um, directly. Um, also, before I forget, since the work session, we have received a letter from a neighboring property owner, which I had emailed each of you last week. Um, so that really is part of your packet. It's from Mr. David Ward. He owns the vacant lot to the east. Uh, voicing some objections to the first care home. Apparently there's been a long history of different things regarding this property. Um, and then also this morning I received a phone call from a Marjorie Ward Dumas from Jacksonville, um, who I believe is Mr. Ward's sister, and she also raised some objections. She, when I asked, um, could not articulate exactly what those objections were, um, but said that she would be sending a letter. I explained to her that, well, the letter would not arrive by tonight, but if we received it this week, we would get it in the city council packet. Um, I know there's been some issue about water and sewer service lines from this apartment building crossing other parcels, and we talked about that at the work session. Um, that is not a pressing issue as far as the utilities department is concerned, but may be a matter between property owners to resolve. Um, so beyond that, I'll try and answer any questions you may have. All right, thank you, Matt. Are there any questions for Matt from the commissioners? There being none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application? Good evening. 
primary advisor and the executive director for normal life of Georgia. The approval of this condition only would allow us to serve an additional person. We don't like for individuals to share rooms. That's one of the reasons we like to have it expanded. So I open it up for any questions you may ask me. Any questions for the speaker from the commission? Bring them. We appreciate your attendance here tonight. Is there anyone else in the audience that, that would like to speak in favor of this application? Do you want to respond? Yes, ma'am. Um, there's four apartment units in that building. Mm -hmm. One of the apartments in the building was the group home, like you say. Mm -hmm. They're wanting to expand into one of the other apartments and take the two apartment units and combine them together as one larger one and still leave it as a group home, just with one more person. Otherwise, no changes to the building, just combining two apartments together into one larger one. So how many clients did you have? Currently three. They want to expand to four. So in the past, it was just only three clients? Correct. That's all they were licensed for was three. So who owns the building? It's a different owner. Normal Life is a tenant. And the owner is Midtown Partners, LLC. Mm -hmm. And so they're responsible for keeping the property up? as any property owner would be, yes ma'am. Mm -hmm. Because the fence, when put up together, the fence is down and it's farther on my side, and it's been down for quite a while. Okay. That's what yeah, Midtown Partners, LLC, is the owner of record. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, are there any questions for the presenter? All right, is there anyone else in the audience that would like to speak? in favor of this request. Is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? There being none, I will not oppose the public participation portion of this application. Um, discussion is now open amongst the commissioners. Mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to get clarification on one of the conditions. Can I ask? That? Sure. Um, all right, this is going to be met. Yes, sir. Um, when you were going over uh, condition one, you said uh, plus two staff members. Is that in addition to the one resident manager? Uh, no, it's, we agreed with no more than four residents and two staff members, period. Okay. So we would delete plus one resident manager okay. to be included in the two staff. Okay. That's it. Thank you. All right. Any other discussion amongst the commissioners? If there being none, I will now take a motion from the commissioners. I make a motion uh, that this would find the uh, okay consistent with the comprehensive plan and with these two conditions. I make a motion that it be accepted. All right, do we have a motion by uh, Commissioner McClendon? I'll second. And a second by Commissioner Wiles. Any discussion on the motion? <clears throat> all right, if there being none, all those in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. All right, the motion passes unanimously. Thank you. 